Hi, my name is Sarah Drake. I am a teaching artist with Her Arts in Action, and I was fortunate enough to receive a grant from the Central Minnesota Arts Board to conduct a residency on symbols in African art with sixth graders in Miss Lingard's class at Holding Ford Schools. The images you'll see and the interviews that you will hear um, Everything was created during quarantine, and our exhibition was canceled also. So this was from online learning and supplies that students had at home. We hope that you enjoy this modified version of an art exhibition, and that you enjoy learning about the things that the children learned about. Our focus was the Takar people of Cameroon, the Garunsi of Burkina Faso, and the Akan of Ghana and Ivory Coast. Thanks. I recognize that I am a white woman teaching African arts. I was asked to teach this and was taught about the symbols. This stems from being a mom to a biracial child with some African heritage and as a frequent visitor to the African continent. A bonus of going online was being able to think about things that we've never tried before. And I use artwork created by Bernard Tano, Haruna Wadrago, and others for descriptive review. And I was able to interview both of them and include their responses to comments that the children had about their artwork and symbols. So please enjoy listening to those interviews as you look at the artwork that the children created. You know, seeing students from the United States making artwork based on the symbols from your country, like what does that feel like to you? And what, what did you think of how the artwork looked? I think that in my country, the symbols are very important for us. When we walk here with the children, we use this symbol to make many things. In this country, when we use the symbol, we can write some story to make our... So when I see last day with the artwork of your students. But I think that it is very, very good. When I see this artwork, I say, wow, it is very good because uh, when we see this artwork, we think that uh, your your students know our country because they use this, uh, this artwork to make art when we see the app that your students very good, very beautiful. And for you, the students are making the work and the symbols are important to your culture. Do you think it's important for people to learn about your culture and to make art through that learning or um, do you think maybe it's not such a good thing like only people from your country should use those symbols like what what do you think about that about other people using the symbols uh, here here in our country when we we use the symbols we, uh, we, we, we are talking about a kingdom Mm -hmm. Kingdom, they are very, they are very simple. We talk about kingdom, we uh, talk about uh, wisdom, talk about uh, many things. When we want to talk, when we want to uh, give some information about our our people, we can use many symbols. So when. Uh, last day, um, the artwork that your students make, uh, we can we can think that artwork uh, does mean many things. In our when you see this artwork, uh, we 
notice that we are talking about uh, water, uh, kingdom, uh, wisdom, many, 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 many. I just used the idea of the road signs and uh, mix it with uh, um, the idea of uh, that people can take care of each other and at the same time pay attention to when when they cross the street that's the general idea but uh, it has the, 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 the deep meaning is uh, in life so on anything you want to do you 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 might be able to 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 to, to watch watch out and to take her, you know, before you uh, you do it. It's like a, take a look before mm -hmm. before before you cross, you know. And I think this student picked up on your meeting because they said that they see two people in a maze trying to find their way out. Where you talked about the literal meaning of you know watching where you're going, but also helping people. Um, and so I think this student really picked up on <laughs> what you were trying to say. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, that's why I, it's, I use this sign because it's, uh, at the same time, it's, uh, you can see that it's not too adult. It's, uh, a, a child and, uh, plus, uh, an adult. So it's, I think I, I thought that it was a, a good a good inspiration like uh, to, to 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 say what i want me to say on the kind of goes also on with a little philosophy and you know sensitivity emotion things like that you can tell the, the interpretation the talking about interpretation uh, interpretation it's uh, it's um the things that you use is not uh, uh, sometimes others use from physical things mm -hmm. and uh, find their own signs to represent it to 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 draw it you know? mm -hmm. so it's same like uh, even it's abstract it's it's like this you like uh, creating symbols or um, but it's not only what you saw <clears throat> that is uh, uh, the meaning of uh, what you made on a, on a canvas. And that's um, very interesting that you said that because that's what we were studying was symbols used in different African countries in their artwork. And so how, you know, here, the, the two people holding hands, you said that's take caution where like a literal street sign would have been like a hand up, right? right? Awesome. And so that's, that's being able to use symbols that we can still pick up on to get those meanings without it being so literal and in your face. It's uh, about recreating re symbol, symbolizing, uh, and uh, not just re reproduction.